Hi, I'm Steve Macias, Executive Director of Cherish California's Children. And I'm Sarah Macias, and we're here today to talk to you about a very important biblical issue. Today's webcast will be focused on sidewalk counseling. Sidewalk counseling is the most important thing a pro-lifer can do to save lives in their community. Here at Cherish, we're focused on practical ways to save lives today. Sidewalk counseling is important because it puts the pro-lifer between an abortionist that wants to kill, their kill the innocent child and a mother who feels she has no other option. For over 10 years, Cherish has been dedicated to equipping sidewalk counselors with the materials they need to be out in front of these clinics. We've produced a brochure called Before You Choose that we distribute 50,000 of every single year. So this video will be demonstrating how it is to become and to be equipped to be a sidewalk counselor. This is focused on taking someone who's never done sidewalk counseling before to becoming a person who can counsel a woman who's suffering or in need. First, I would like to discuss how I got involved in the pro-life issue. As long as I can remember, my family has been involved in the pro-life ministry from taking me to rallies at the state capitol, to being involved in life chain, to me even writing papers on abortion for, my, for school. Um, even though the issue was important to me as a young child, it has become even more important to me as an adult. When I'm out there um, on the sidewalk outside of Planned Parenthood holding my sign, the most common objection that we hear is, where are all your women? Well, the majority of abortions take place between the ages of 18 through 24, and I can see now how important it is for me as a 20-year-old pregnant woman to be out there for these women who are in crisis to have somebody to relate to. That's great. I got involved in the pro-life movement when I was in college. A couple of sidewalk counselors showed up at our college campus handing out literature to college women, and as Sarah points out, this is the demographic that's having abortions. And so I'm so appreciative of my wife's labors out there offering help and counseling to women. When I was first introduced to the pro-life movement, they showed me some of the literature and asked me if I was pro-life. And I said, absolutely, I vote for all the pro-life candidates. And they didn't really take that as well as I'd hoped they would. Because for them to be pro-life was much more than marking an X in a ballot box. For them, it meant going out into the streets and offering real help to real women. The next question after the, if I was pro-life was, are you a Christian? And once I told them that I was a Christian, they then felt it was their responsibility to make me an activist Christian. <laughs> they showed me a video of an abortion being performed, and that was the hardest video I have ever watched in my entire life. While it brought me to tears, it broke my heart. It made me feel something I'd never felt about this issue, that there are innocent people being killed and I'm doing nothing. So this broadcast, this webcast is so important because there are so many of us who are just like me, who haven't been awakened to the issue and how they can help. They feel the issue is, is political or it's too big for them. Well, we're here to take this into simple steps. We're gonna say, if you've never done this before, that's okay. We're gonna tell you, what you need to say, where you can go, what the laws are, and how to do everything. So stay tuned for the next couple steps and we're going to go through all of those.